Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, Session 51, Part 2. I am Ryan, the GM. It is the 27th of April, 2020. Here are the players. Hello, my name is Nico. I'm playing Zora, best captain. Hello, my name is Colin, and I am playing like Quinn. Don't know why I'm announcing like that and sort of like doing this weird pun. Really uh, yeah, as well. no, um, mm, the, mm. Uh, yeah, like Quinn, who is oh, the okay. operative and uh, space cop emeritus. What's up? I'm Alex. I'm playing weird. Your boy on the. Your boy on the web. Who's natural mechanic? I said the boy on the web. The boy on the web. How's mm, Charlotte? Uh, oh. dead. This oh, is several really? hundred years in the wow. future. Sorry. Wow. Wow. Ah. Right in the childhood. Oh my rage! I'm still just a ranic age. Speaking of. Hello. <laughs> I am Callum, and I will be playing Zig, the space rat from the sun. I enjoyed the weird cadence there. Did you pick that up from anyone? <laughs> Which sun? Uh, Oh. Uh, Donald Look, June. do you know what? You know, good artists borrow, great artists steal. <laughs> wow. Is that your hot take? I <laughs> believe that was the Hambler. Hambler. <laughs> oh, fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> I've been so erudite when this fucking. Do you know something? Do you know something, Colin? Like, you need to work on your pitch, I think. Because I think you're saying <laughs> Hamblurgler, fuck me, isn't a great way to flirt. So. I'm blurgler. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm less drunk than usual. It's amazing. I can't even speak. All right, that is a big, a bit. Anyway, um, progress for progress's sake. Uh, yeah. So art for art's sake. We switch over to our wonderful shuttle team, and yeah, what shuttle happens on the what happens on the journey over? Uh, that. Entirely depends on how much CC wrecks. Well, the last thing that you had was CC trying to get into the big crate, so... Oh, the crate with the fucking egg. Oh, shit. I, I, nah, I actually just clicked as to what the crate was. Oh, my God. No, I've only just realised that now as well. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I'm not there. Is it <laughs> fine? I don't know. I kind of just... I mean, he's not going to try and suck the egg. I, I don't, don't think he's going to eat it, you know? Are they, are they... That'll probably keep him, like, transfixed for ages. Sure. Yeah, it's true. No, it probably won't. No, he, he's he's too skittish. Um, I don't know. Maybe onto something. Maybe, like, a, a baby rattler, you know? Like... Hmm. <laughs> Condescending to our mate. Hey, I'll be condescending openly. <laughs> Stay on the target. Uh, I mean, I, I'm just gonna fly along and and uh, and pay no mind to the small, multi-limbed creature behind the curtain. Uh, yeah, behind the chair, mm -hmm. uh... opening the box. Sun egg. An egg. Sun egg. <laughs> sun that egg sounds kind of like Scottish slang for something, and I'm not sure what it would mean. I think it's because it sounds like smeg. Or, or yeah. halfway between smeg and han egg. I mean, Wait, quick aside, do you guys use han egg? No. Is no. Han egg. Han -ek. No, it's an off. Yeah, of course, it's an Irish thing. Han egg. <laughs> no. Mm. Oh god, I'm gonna have to explain this to you fuckers. Right, anyway, sorry, continue. Yeah. Meanwhile. <laughs> yeah, so what's the plan? Just no chat, no f nothing? Just... Uh, uh, I mean, I'd probably be. I don't. Yeah, probably no chat. I'm probably just making sure that he doesn't like try and like break open the egg to see what's inside. Cause okay, so let's, 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 let's play the timeline, right? So, Lyco's trying to take the shuttle off. I, you've ended Com's conversation with uh, the other team, <clears throat> the Bravo team, and then I Easy. guess, I guess CC have managed to like crack open the crate at this point, so the the kind of ceiling lid has popped off, and the thing's probably fell back on its ass. 
and it like quickly scutters up and it goes and looks at the lid really intently and looks over it and then it's like stops and like the kind of hair in the back of its neck and head now to kind of like shiver up and then it kind of turns round and its little legs pop open and then it uh, climbs up using its mechanical legs to like get into the crate and it just falls in Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> look inside the crate. Just peel my head over. Yeah, uh, you okay, that's easy. It's just got its mouth wrapped around. Ah, it. it's ah, like ah, ah, into it. ah, ah, that, no, 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 don't do that to the the golden egg. So I guess, like, when you hear this, it's <laughs> uh, <laughs> Captain, what's uh, what's happening back there? Uh, he's trying to eat the egg. Try to oh, bite the egg. Yeah, that's um. <laughs> CC, that's probably not a great idea. It's uh, you know, mystic solar yeah. stuff. Yeah. Can we uh? Can we? Can we? Can we get him? Get him back through here, away from the. <laughs> What's the roy? What's the what's happening? It's like fucking having like we're in we like stitch. So, God damn! I knew you should have watched that. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was your homework for this week? Yeah, and then um, yeah, it's just like it's hugging the egg and trying to bite into it. Yeah. Uh, to, uh, can I lift him? I'm going to get bit in the hand, but it's fine. You can definitely try. I will do that. Yeah, so you grab him and then the legs pop out of the, the backpack and Gently. Like pin into the uh, the crate and stuff to try and stop it being moved. Oh no. And just starts like screeching. <laughs> as you're like grabbing it and it's like sculpturing it, scratching at the egg, trying to hold on to it. It's alright, Craig, he's not going to harm you, he's just trying to get you away from the the. You uh, probably crate, hear it, like, the, the scraping of the crate along the floor as the force Zora is using to try and pull. Hey. Uh, CC off. <laughs> it's actually like I'm being as gentle as possible. <laughs> it's more like a, I don't really don't want to talk. But please, please stop. Yeah, the thing's like definitely doesn't want to part with the egg. Oh, uh, oh my god! Thank God, I guess you are. He's here in spirit. <laughs> It's like you get a weird, horrible, like, sinking feeling in your stomach and you don't know why. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Mm-hmm. Uh, um... I Star Wars nod. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um... Uh... Is there anything, uh... Is there anything we could do to reassure him? If the you know, if he's upset, then you're lifting him. I mean, I don't think he's upset. Left me, we left him. He just wants to bite the egg. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> CC. Uh, uh, why are you why are you trying to bite the egg? There's like no response. Just um, the thing's still trying to like use its feet to like kick Zora's hands away and stuff. Well, Not food. The, the metal legs are like pinned into the crate box. I don't think he thinks it's food. I think he just, I think he just bites things to explore. Uh. Uh. D- 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 uh. I do. I do. Uh. A little. Uh, gremlin. He's not gonna. I don't think he's going to be able to break it. Maybe we just leave him to it. That. Yeah, imagine that—the great solar dragon taken down by a scatamander. <laughs> Suga. <laughs> Suga. <laughs> let, let, let him. Uh, let him get it out. Of his system, you know. Uh, say that until he wipes it like the succulent. So. Or well, yeah, I'll maybe keep an eye on him, but <laughs> <laughs> I will keep my eye on him. I, I, I don't think he's doing it any harm for now. I wish I knew why he was so interested in it. I mean, tiny. I mean, it's a pretty dressed neck. 
as, you're, as you're a bast in the golden light from the top of the crate box <laughs> open. <laughs> it, it sure, it sure, it, it sure glows. <laughs> uh, so yes, I will sit back and I will make sure that he does not harm the egg, and it's just whatever it is that he does. I mean, if you sit back, you won't be able to see inside the box, though. I've, oh, sit back as much as I could, you know. I'll, I'll sit and like, peer the box. The box is like pretty a man big. looking into a child's crib. That's creepy. Stop being creepy. <laughs> Stand on the edge of the box in a resting position. Yes. That. I don't know what I mean by that. I'll just yeah, like stand squat. next to the box and just watch in. Yes. Uh, Side my eyes. <laughs> uh, Side look. Rotate your I'm eyes looking. over the edge. I'm not looking, but I'm looking. What, is, what happened on the break? Did everybody break? Actually. Um, uh. So, yeah, I think if you let go, the thing obviously just kind of like elastic style smacks off the egg because. The, the little mechanical legs it was using were just obviously poised to try and keep it attached to it. Um, so it kind of smacks off the egg and then it like scurries around the other side of it and just looks at you and starts going <laughs> like it's telling you off. <laughs> and it just kind of like retracts the metal legs and kind of burrows down inside the crate underneath the egg. Uh... Uh, <laughs> how do I deal with that? He's he's been defeated by this question. <laughs> um, uh-huh. uh, I will like roll the egg upright. And the egg's like wedged in a big crate, so it can't move. So it was safe to travel. So. Like, oh, here's diagram time. So I, I get you. I get you. It's tight. It's tight. Uh, so like, if this is like the egg. Uh, where are we? There we go. And then you've got the box designed to like contain said egg with the lid. Yeah. We've got what was once her. So, yeah. Thereabouts, you get what I mean, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, could I not, like, roll it up, right? right? Roll what up, right? right? The egg, so it's not, like, lying on its side, it's, like, the lying is, on the bottom. The egg's not on its side, the egg's jammed in a crate. It's pretty... It's a side oh, right, 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 it's like that, right, 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 okay. Uh... <laughs> but like an Easter egg, where something's fell down inside the box, it's at the bottom of the box now. Okay, it's just, so... It's just squashed its way down in there. <laughs> just, I'll tap the box at its side. Yeah, I think you just hear it like. So it just tips out. Like. <laughs> Let's get rid of all this crap. That I, I don't actually need. To... I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll not, uh, not tap. Right, I'll put it in its side. Place it on its side. Yeah. So you tip it over, and then side. yeah, you've still got an egg in between you and and CC. You just hear some uh... like some distressed like. <laughs> as we're tipping the box over. Uh, Captain, what's happening? You just hear the crash of the box being like tipped over on its side. Like, <laughs> uh, this is only ten minutes into the journey, right? Like, this is still before the ten minute mark. Uh, this is kind of a long journey. What? I can't get quite here, Captain. This is going to be a long journey. <laughs> Yeah, I got that feeling. And I think the, <laughs> the comms just, like, over the comms, it just comes over with, like, the exact time the journey will take, as per, like, the navigation computer. 
and it says forever. Yeah, it probably says something like seven hours or some shit like that. Whatever the time yeah, actually is. Reasonable and forever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a long RP was <laughs> forever. Mm, agreed. Mm. Agree. So yeah. That's what CC says over the com. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, buddy. Just, just don't, don't, don't damage the egg, please, and I'll just leave my lane. Yeah. I don't just. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. Let him let him get it out of his... Just leave the box tipped over and everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, why not, right? It's fine. It's easy <laughs> Puts lid back on box, it. just stay in there, Craig. <laughs> <Stay>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I assume you don't actually do that though. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, I would love to, but no. Okay, yeah. Um if nothing else of interest by you guys um, by design yeah god anything else you just want to do on the journey over just this me yeah. and uh sorrow see, see. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I i don't do children and child like that's, still... that's a stance to take <laughs> I would, I would say that that's the most good It's actually um, it's, it's, it's a very votable quality, you could say. Electable. Um, <laughs> He's got my vote. Sorry, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sign up with me, I've got one rule, everybody. <laughs> um, so yeah, like if, he's, if you just leave CC alone in the box, uh, CC's pretty quiet for the journey. Cool. So it's like a bit of your rattle. <laughs> I mean, you may have been right, or we might like open up to find he's just drank. <laughs> oh, no, no, Zuga. We still see <laughs> the light coming out, right? Oh yeah, the egg still gives off like heat and light. Yeah. Yeah. So we'd know. Like, like to the point where like maybe a couple of like maybe like an hour into the journey, you need to actually adjust all the the enviro controls because of how much heat this thing gives out. At least I go still have a glowing shell, right? <laughs> That's what he implies, man. Dr. Zygotnik, yeah. Um, yeah. I just realized <laughs> I was talking to you. Where are you? What, what are you saying? Let's review. No, Call. I was... I was, I was just... Call it. Sorry. Yep, there we go. It's a... um, hi there. I'm Zygotnik. <laughs> No, I know. I, I was basically. Welcome to Starfinder, the Fragments of Eternity, um, <laughs> Session 51, Part 2. Welcome to the Elephant. <laughs> so. But no, uh, subscribe to the highest level Patreon to witness my witty one liners that I obviously recorded as we were mm -hmm. um, the going local through recordings. That whole, that whole, the whole segment. Yep. Wink. <laughs> the wink. whole segment, wink. <laughs> Your private podcast. Um, yeah. I have the camera on as well, so you actually see the wink as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, so if you want to see the wink... <laughs> wow. If wink is your kink, subscribe. Wow, that was... Yep. It's all right. That's okay. got to be one of the names of the like, levels of Patreon. Yep. Anyway, back in this game, somehow. Uh, yeah, we... Unless you actually have anything to say... As a no, it, all that, I, as don't have to, I don't have anything to add to the madness. It's fine. Okay. It would just derail us th further. Cool. Why not? Was... I almost said further, and that was. Wow. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Isabel You almost said it, but that's because nobody can say it, so Furler. it's fine. Nope. Furler. Nope. <laughs> it's not a name. <laughs> um. So yeah. A, I'm, about ah. to, I'm gonna jump to the other guys unless the shuttle team actually. This anything. far, no furler. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, that's where she died. That's where she died. Shit. Ah, that would have been so great, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. What did we call that session? That was fun. That no was the dragon. It was the dragon glaive one, wasn't it? It was actually a really shit yeah, name as well. Yeah, it was a really yeah, generic name. A uh, dragon glaive. That's a good match. Go back. Go back. I mean, that's what power hammer, like power metal, like band. Session them. Yeah, it was a was it Dragon Glaive? Th it was just it was called Thunderhead. Sorry, that's what it was called. <laughs> Thunderhead. Wow, that would have been a great title. Actually, this far, no further. 
Yep. Anyway, uh, too late though. Moving on to the other team. Zig, you've got your comm like buzzing away and you're holding on to a uh, weirds comm uh, with Morty on the other side. Mm -hmm. And it was in the middle of saying something about your blood and we dramatically yes. zoomed away. So, um, yeah. You're There's something I was going to say, I'll kill you. <laughs> Me? Or Morty? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, God. Um, wow. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine because Ryan's in a safe place. You know, Morningside doesn't exist, so it's. <laughs> wow. Out me, why don't you? Out me. Yeah. Come on, come on let's dog some all. We'll fix it in post. Sorry. Ah. Okay, now you have to find one of the three <laughs> global morning signs and triangulate where I live. Um, yes, so with the calm, we've got Morty. Be like, oh, uh, hello. Uh, mm. And then he says, could you maybe put in your security like details for your, your comm device so that I, I, I can confirm it's it's you so we can talk about your, your blood? I ask um, Weird to put in my... <laughs> <laughs> I put in his security yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you're laughing. This is the dynamic use of invented. So <laughs> it makes sense. Because mm. as Callum, as a person, this is ridiculous. So, yeah. As Zig, uh, yeah, this makes sense. Yeah, and he's like, oh, oh okay. Um, so, uh, unfortunately, we're, we're not able to um, accept uh, blood donations from from you because of some uh, unknown elements uh, that have been found in, in the blood. Um, and, and also the sample um, destroyed itself. Oh. Oh? Yeah. You probably should don't want I, to put that into people. Should, should I be worried? Does this mean I have something? Do, do I have a, do I have a thing? Do I, am I, am I going to, what, like, what, what's, uh, uh, um, uh, like, is this, is this um, bad? Like, how bad, uh, on, on a scale of oh bad to, to really um, bad, how bad is this? Um, my notes here don't really go into details, but. If if you want to come back, I mean, this is my blood. I'm, if you want to see I'm, the doctor, maybe like come. come I come mean, back. I I want someone to like how like and this. Like, oh, that doesn't sound good. If um, um, uh, uh, if we're we're open, we're a dropping clinic. You could just come back. Are you okay, Zig? Um. Yeah, because you probably hear uh, like pretty distressed, right? Yeah, I was like, I, I'm gonna say, um, could you could you give me give me a second? I'll be right back. He says that to obviously Morty. Oh jeez. Um, and uh, he kind of like you know like puts the the calm on like his chest. So he goes, um, so, you know you know how I like donated blood. Yes. Um. Well, it's it, it destroyed itself, and apparently there's a thing that I have or maybe don't have, but they can't tell me. So I'm I'm like, mm, am I gonna die? like what? <sighs> hmm. Huh. Now, I'm not an expert in Yosoki biology. No, <laughs> you're not. Uh, but I'm inclined to say, Zig, that this isn't likely to be some sort of illness, because, well, I'll be damned if I know any illness that makes blood destroy itself. Zig um, goes back to the comm and says, Now, I'm not an expert in Yosoki biology. I didn't say but, you were. But I don't know of any illness that would make Yosoki blood destroy itself. So I, I, I assume I hope it's fine, probably. Oh, I mean, we're just a drop in clinic, so if you want to, like, Drop in, like, that's... I don't really have any more information for you, Mr. Zig. Sun. I mean, is there... Is, like, I mean, is... The, no, no, Mr. It's fine. Just burning sun. That'll do. Um, 
is there is there literally like no information you get? Is it is it like you're giving me like inform like are you giving me all the information you have, or is that like the information you're well, allowed? I, to I, get I mean, it's all, all the information that's relevant to like the the blood donation, like sample. Like obviously, I'm not giving you all the information I know because that like I went to med school, so like that that'd be a lot. Mr. Morty, that's that's totally fair. I understand. Yes, uh, I'm sorry for 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 troubling you with my my um my evaporate my my miss my 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 sort of um I don't know my my missing blood. I'm sorry. Okay. Was there... have a nice day. Okay, goodbye. I feel sort of like, eh? Hey. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, I think, I think so like he's kind like... of like turned to weird and be like, should, should I be worried? Should I be, I'm... Hmm. Probably. <laughs> okay. So, what good would that do? I guess... Maybe make my blood disappear faster. Yes, true. I think Zig would kind of like, you know, nervously laugh at that. Let's try and keep your blood where it is for the time being. And um... I'd, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Shall we? Um. Shall we go? Yep, your transport is waiting. Do you want to go to the clinic? No, let's just leave. Uh, weird nods and head for the transport. Yeah, yeah. So it's just yeah. yeah, the next scene. You just get onto the transport and then yeah, you got a couple hours to kill. So what do you do on the the way over? Uh... I think occasionally Zig like in his head like tries to naturally bring up the fact that his blood disappeared, but yeah. it's really not a natural progression. It's like oh so. Uh, it's a bit weird that, you know, blood can just vanish. Before we get into that conversation, which could be hilariously medically accurate, the um, cost of this uh, would be like 150 for registered transport and then like 300 each if you're going to try and just do it without names. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I assume we want to do it without names. I guess ideally... We are supposed to be super sneaky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you posted the, the entire... <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we haven't posted it with our faces. Correct. Just Zig's phone number. <laughs> yes. But it's fine. It's, 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 I, I feel like it's the same yeah. as writing. For like, you know, for a fun time, text this number in like the, the, you know, the bathroom cubicle. It's, but, uh... it's, but you put it in like four corners in Glasgow, though. Yeah, so, you know... You get a lot of... And also in there. London or Times Square, right? The equivalents of those places. Yeah. Piccadilly Circus so is what I was trying to say. Um, but anyway, so yeah. 300 each for the sneaky transport over to Hyde Market. Time. Yep, so it leaves yep. you with 400 monies from the captain. There we go, he, put, he gave you the grant. Oh, the captain covered that, that's fine. No, yeah. no, no, no. So you still got 400 captain monies. Are we splitting that like two hundred each, or? <laughs> I assume he sent it to Nix's. Uh, I think it all went to so... Weird's account. Yeah. Yeah, Weird's account. Sorry. Ah, bollocks. Uh, how much would it cost to get in flight dinner? Uh, no, I think that's covered. Yeah, it can be covered. Um, it's probably the equivalent of like a snack bar, like a breakfast bar, though, and mm -hmm. like a sippy cup. Um, it's probably mm -hmm. it's probably it's just. Coffee. It's probably like recycled water in a in a Capri Sun type thing and also like a nutrition bar where the word nutrition is spelt with new letters. <laughs> it's like the new metal version of nutrition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how much does it cost to upgrade to first class dinner? There isn't a first class option for this bus essentially to get uh, you to the hive market. Um Akaton and first class are not really words that go together. Yeah, I should know that. Yeah. 
But like, you know, uh, for the most part, it's like, it's just a coach, right? For the most part, you know, a space bus, and it's fairly pleasant, I guess, right? People travel about all the time, so. Yeah. Is Edgar or a blonde woman on the transport? <laughs> That'd be really handy. Roll ed sixty. Zig. Sure. Yeah, there's a blonde woman. Wow. Not sexy. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think as we like, maybe we kind of get on, and she's like maybe sitting down already i think as we kind of like pass her i'd kind of like maybe like tap like um weird so the way it would work is you would you would board from like either the front two doors or the back two doors the kind of the overall ship things like for the most part ran by like some kind of vi um because no bus driver ever dealt with the bullshit of working in nakaton and then yeah it's all like private companies that make it so it's like people from daza like slingshot these things out and then they auto retrieve them um so based on that, you would have entered through one of the doors, and yeah, it's maybe like an hour into the flight, you notice her. So it wouldn't have been initially. Oh, okay. okay. So maybe no, you're sat like a couple of rows back, and you just notice the blonde hair. Maybe they had like a hood or something up or something initially, and it's just come down. Maybe their helmets come off or something, and then they've sat there and yeah. their, their hair's fell out, and you've went, oh, blonde. I mean, maybe it's like like it, it's it's not like just blonde; it's like noticeably blonde, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, or in Zig's mind. And I think he would like point that out to to Weird and be like, "That's could that could that possibly be the blonde?" That seems unlikely. You think that, Alex? Right? You think yeah. it would be unlikely, but then you ask somebody to roll an arbitrary dice. Yeah. I think I think Zig would turn around to to weird and be like, "Yeah, but I rolled a nat 60. <laughs> and um, weird smiles slightly <laughs> with his facial features. Ah, and, uh, yes, ah, I mean, yes, the, the the old facial features. The smile toy. of the mouth, as they say. Yes, not something he's used to doing. Mm -hmm. um, and he just says, "Okay, Zig, why don't you go and ask her? Is he?" Pops his headphone back in, listen to the audio book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's the book on? Uh, Skitamanders. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Silence. Um, give me a culture check for the book. Give you a plus one for the fact that you've RP'd as an audio book. <laughs> yeah, do one. So I think primarily the subject matter in the, the, the audio book is. Skittermanders uh, were conquered, and then there's a question mark, by the Viscarium. And it gives you like dates and stuff for all this. And then it says, uh, Unfortunately, due to the dismay of the Viscarium, there was no victory to be had in this, as there was no resistance or argument put in place of who governs Skittermanders. And they went about their business, regardless. And then it kind of... It's a bunch of like Vesk that have been like interviewed as it were for the uh, the audiobook and for the most part it talks about how the conquest should have been glorious and there was discussion about actually just wiping them out for their uh, you know what's the word I'll be looking for here rebellion against the Viscarium but because the Vesk don't like just genocidal actions, they're more about acclimating, or accumulating I should say um, cultures, and mm -hmm. making them become Vesk owned things, the path of least resistance in that particular area was just to accept that if MD asks, the Vesk will say it's theirs and I don't think the Skittermander are going to argue regardless, so not many people are going to argue with the Vesk um Entirely reasonable. Yeah, the um, person that had like the kind of journalist type person that had made the audio kind of book, the person that like funded the documentary, as it were, um, died in a strange shuttlecraft accident. Though, 
uh, during the kind of making of it. So there's like kind of credits to that person and like a kind of, you know, dedication to them as well. Who was it? Who was it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get your name. I'm sure that's important. Yeah, yeah. Sure. two seconds. A uh, Jarlin. Oh, CC so J A R L E N, right? And it is a uh, Lysander, Lysander Jarlin. Mm. Nice one. It's a good name. A strong good name. name. I need Jarlin. you to name all my characters for everything. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Lysander Jarlin, um, and yeah, they were a, probably a, why can't I think of their name? Emlyn was one. Lashunta. Lashunta, yeah. A Lashunta, uh, and it was her type of Lashunta as well, because there was two types. The Spoopy Lashunta. Yeah, so... Oh, the, st the stubby Lushinta. Yeah. Wow. So... Stubbers and Spookers. They were a fairly <laughs> big, packed world journalist. This person, like, you know, the David Attenborough of a uh, yeah. place. But, yeah, several years ago, when this documentary thing was made, I... Yeah. The best killed them. I mean, you could argue that. But that doesn't that's, say that in the dedication. Uh, it's too sneaky for the risk. <laughs> you could look into that if you wanted, though, right? That's something you could look into. But the, oh, yeah. the Lysander Jarlin conspiracy. Um, you write more than just their name down, so I remember who the fuck this is. Um, journalist on <coughs> Pact World stuff died in shuttle accident. Question mark. Cool. Um, right, so. You go back to listening to your Vesk conspiracy theories, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, what does what's Zig up to? I guess. Do you know what? I think Zig would just take his advice and like go up. Is is the is the woman like? Is she like sat by herself? Is there space next to her, or is she like with someone? Uh, or yeah, like the it is literally the equivalent of like a coach, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a spaceship's coach. So yeah, like there's like. A two seats, she's on one. Um, and you can't tell from where you are if somebody's on the other one. She's, okay. on, she's obviously in the aisle seat on the left-hand side for those who ah, okay. need all this. I think, I think Zig would kind of just get up and like kind of walk past and see if he could like sit either like next to her or across from her. Um... Nah, the place, like the, the the actual thing itself, the coach is full. There have been no empty seats. Oh, right, okay. There's no, no empty seats at all. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing to stop you, much like on a plane, like from walking up and down. The seatbelt signs off now that they've taken off, obviously. Okay. Um, and this doesn't leave orbit anyway, so. Yeah, I, I, you know, Zig would probably stand up and he would just like walk over to the table and say, uh, ex "Excuse me." And then uh, the lady turns round, and uh, she says. Oh, you're excused. And she kind of like goes back to flicking through our data pad. You got I wow, think, wow, wow, wow. I think um, Zig would just say like in like a like a sort of lord voice, but there's like hands, um, kind of by but sort of like by his sides, and just say um, Edgar Wesley. Kind of just looks at you and goes, Apologies, I'm just here for a, a quiet, you know, trip. Sorry, I'm not interested. Goes back to flicking through our data pad. Can I, like, is is there like someone in between us, or is she like, like. So imagine pretty... a coach, just a bus, right? Yeah. And like a, like a tour bus type coach thing, you know, not a band tour bus, just a normal, everybody's packed in tour bus. Yeah, yeah. And she's just sat in a, a seat and there's a seat next mm -hmm. to her that's got some person who's clearly asleep, possibly snoring. She's just there reading through a data pad and there's just a seat in front of her um, in terms of that's the next row of people. Yeah, no, but like, is she is she on the, like, the aisle seat or the yep. window seat? 
I'll see. I'll see. Okay. Um. Can I? <sighs> no. Okay. No, I'm gonna do it anyway. Um. Can Zig like apologize? Just like, oh, I'm sorry. And as he like kind of walks back the way. Um. Just like touch her arm and mind link with her. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This is. <laughs> Near, near. This is a terrible idea. Is a... oh, yeah. Fucking... Right. Okay. First off, Dude. it's got to work at least, like at yeah, some point. It's this going to work. If so, we just keep on doing. So, it. what are you going to send in the mind link? I think it's going to be, um, like a first, like basically every image of Edgar Wesland that he has in his mind. Every and then it's also image of to... Edgar Westland he has in his mind. Guys, can you yep. just take That's in... not wise. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then like <laughs> after after that it's going to be the the sort of like desire to find Edgar Westland. Like as as like him and um Weird were kind of walking through Noodle Sand. Now I I agree that it's possibly a bad idea to show her the the weird rainbow demon version of Edgar Westland, but maybe that's how she knows her. So he's giving her all the information he can. So that tisk was sounded like a bad thing. No, no. <laughs> I mean. This is what RP's for, right? So there's. there's I mean, uh, do you know, I take it back. Uh, I only show Edgar Wesland as he is in his suit, as he. Um... No, I mean no. I mean, why? Why did you <laughs> no, no, know? Like, no, I'm, I'm, commi I'm committing to it. I'm committing to it. That's that's what I'm going for. Okay. And you're sending all of that through my link to this rando. On a bus. Yeah, as I kind of like apologize, go. I'm so sorry. Um, I think as he says, like I like he it probably goes to say like I thought you were someone else, but he goes I thought Bamf, mind link. Okay. So that to everyone else, like and then as like the mind link ends, he would be like I thought you were someone else and walks off and says I know everyone on the bus would assume that that's what he said. So, yeah, okay. Can you roll a will save? No. <laughs> but I can try. Shaboom! Oh. Okay. Oh. So... Yeah. She screams. Oh god. Just in terror. <laughs> um the oh. person next to her uh, wakes up like in a horrible, like uncomfortable start, like as if holy fuck what what the hell is happening and shoots her in the head. Oh my god. <laughs> Zig, you're covered in her blood. Uh, oh my god. So okay, just, think... There's just this scene of all the images, her screaming. Um, oh. I like the visuals of the dread wave of Edgar, because remember, all of the the feelings go with it as well. And yeah, that person next to her gets the fright of his life, wakes up and shoots her in the head. Like, in, like reactively. <coughs> She's clearly, and then you're you're covered in her blood now. Okay, I think it like maybe does that that. Thing Obviously, where you're like, every day then no, every day then, in the uh, the shuttle, <laughs> freaks the fuck out. <laughs> Weird, you're sat there in the back of the coach with all these people like rushing towards you, which is probably not great. As you notice this through the, and there was oh, a dedication. Man. This is dedicated to uh, Lysander Jarlin. 
um, for their efforts in the field with the Viscarium. How good are my noise cancelling headphones? Um, <laughs> they were okay enough until the entire fucking coach started running towards you, yeah. I think maybe it does that thing. You know, you know that like typical like sort of anime camera move where it goes like zooms right into the face and their, you know, the their eyes like that that sort of you know fish eye lens, super close up on the face, um, where maybe his like snout is like really like in focus and his eyes are super far back. Um. <clears throat> I think Zig's automatic reaction is to um, maybe just like zone out and just kind of like kneel down on the floor and try and comprehend what he's done. Yeah, and like I think we just see like a whole bunch of people on the the shuttle have like pulled weapons out. Uh, Weird will stand up, hoping that he's the tallest person. <laughs> Can Zig cast ref um, no uh, reflecting armor <laughs> on himself? No, no. I want to know what Weird does in this That's process. Fine. Yeah, so Weird stands up, hoping he's the tallest person. Uh, I mean, there are probably people as tall as Weird here, right? But there's probably not many of them. Um, but yeah, probably like, not as bulky right now. Yeah, like, but there are like large creatures on the shuttle as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Weird will stand up, hold out. It all four arms and his integrated plasma cannon mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and say please everyone remain calm I think he's I, have this under, I have this under control I think you've just got like possibly five voices at once screaming at you under control that guy just shot that woman in the head and we shall deal with it appropriately <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll some yeah. kind of diplomacy for me. <laughs> There's no oh such thing. There are no skills. <laughs> diplomacy no is skills actually a skill. Uh, will this let me roll it? I stand by what I put I mean, on the screen, is, to be honest. It also isn't. <laughs> I have clicked it. I don't know. If yeah, it's just there. You got a 16, buddy. 16? Yes! That's much better than I expected. Uh, I mean, yeah, you somehow placate people enough to the point where, like, some people are like, they go back to some of their seats, but they sit with their weapons out. As I slowly approach, the guy that had obviously leaped up into the luggage compartment above has now like slowly climbed down, brought his rifle down with him, and is now hugging it in his seat. And I say, please, can you explain? What happened? To who? The only person still kind of rocking back and forth in the middle of the aisle? Zig? Chris Gunman. Uh, no, the guy that did the shooting. Alright, so you're going to walk up the coach and go to <laughs> the murder site? Yes. Yeah. I, I yeah. think like I think Zig like instantly, like as, you know... Because Zig um, sat in front of you, rocking back and forth, covered in blood. As, as like, like weird kind of walks down the aisle, I think Zig goes, oh my god, he's going he's gonna, to like just shout at me and, so, and then he like turns to the to the shooter and and then says that and then I think Zig like at that point goes He turns to the shooter ah. is the best phrase for a let's just get a bus from one city to the other. <laughs> <He turns. laughs> um, yeah, I think Zig like notably the woman. like relaxes and maybe stands up and looks at the the, the, the person who shoot the the poor lady who was trying to talk to um, and we had put one hand behind his back to kind of signal to Zig to go go away almost I think Zig picks up on that and just leaves like goes to like the back of the coach for sure uh, her data pad's lying on the floor as you go to walk away Zig I think Zig would if if, if Zig like if 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 he if it's like maybe just like there that he would notice it, I think he would like bend down to kind of like maybe like scratch at his shin and like just pick it up. Yeah. Cool. Do I need to like roll anything, or can I just do that? Right. That's fine. Yeah, you can pick that up. Okay. Mm hmm. So yeah, uh, with a. Uh, 
Weird. Yes. Yeah, so Zig leaves the vicinity and goes back to his designated seat. Uh, yes, Noted, um, notably hanging his head in shame. Covered in this woman. <laughs> so, <coughs> so yeah. This guy's uh-huh. like breathing really, really heavily. Like, <sighs> like what the... And he's like holding his gun. And it's like... You recognize the type of gun of something clearly cobbled together because this person needed a weapon to survive, right? Like, you know enough about your survival in this planet to be like, this guy's made this gun from stuff he's found. Yeah. Hence why it's like a slug thrower. And, actually, please explain what happened. He's like, he looks up at you, he's like, who are you? And his hand's like slightly shaking a little bit. My name is Weird. Doesn't matter, I'm not going to judge you, buddy. No, it is literally Weird. W-Y-R-D. Kind of narrows his eyes. Maybe that kind of stops him shaking a bit. And he's like... Okay. Why is... She just started screaming. And then flailing and... I thought she was trying to... I thought she was trying to, like, attack me. And you acted in self-defense. He looks up, he's like, Are you a lawyer? Do I need a lawyer? Oh, God. Do you know a lawyer? No, but, like, my... I think my cousin might still be a lawyer. I've spoke to him in ages. Oh, my God. Do you have his, do you have his number available? He, like, gets, like, a bag... It clearly his like food was in and he just starts breathing mm. into it. You want to pass me your cousin's details and I can get in contact for you. Just kinda like slowly nods as he's breathing in this bag. It's just in, like inflating and deflating and inflating and deflating. Yep. Um uh, I assume he's gonna pass me a com or something with the yeah, like after like another, like maybe like a laboured couple of yeah. minutes of him trying to breathe and fumble with his calm, and he's like, you know, puts the gun in the table but holds on to it if that makes sense, and he's like gesturing mm-hmm. like, see that's what that's hands for, and he goes for his calm with his other one and brings out uh, the details, and he's like, this is the last uh, details I had for him, but I've not spoke to him in in years. That's okay, I'm sure. I want to help you out. Oh my god! And he just looks at obviously her body. As it's just lying there, kind of slumped, kind of towards the aisle. Uh, I take off my cloak and pop it over her. Okay. For the time being. Yep. With the set of hands that isn't mm-hmm. dialing into the com. Yep. It's a real multitask crime scene body. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you add all that into the, uh, the com and whatnot and cover her up. Yep. Yeah, and give him a call. Yeah. Uh, it just says the number you have dialed cannot be reached as the recipient device is out of a com relay range. Uh, Can I do you wish message? to yeah, I was gonna say it's like do you wish yep. to leave a voicemail? <laughs> uh and yes, I basically leave a very brief summary that your cousin was involved in a in a violent incident uh on his way to Hive Market on an uh, and he specified you as a person who may offer some legal advice. Uh, expect that he will be within uh, held by some authority on Hive Market. And given the uh, the, the bus number and yeah. date. Cool. Yep. Yep. Perfect. And uh, I say uh, now these things usually you know turn into the panic guy. These places usually have CCTV or something on these these transports, and there's lots of witnesses. So you're likely to be held for investigation, but your cousin should meet you soon. And um, I'm sure this will all get sorted out, just and they will be understanding. He just starts breathing in and out of the uh, the bag, obviously, and nods. Mm-hmm. You hear the <laughs> as he's breathing in and out of the bag. 
everyone here knows that she didn't mean to and she saw everyone jump to their guns very quickly themselves uh, perhaps I might advise you to practice uh, patience and assessment in the future Okay, it looks at you know, it lowers the bag. Like, I, was, I can't believe this has happened. Like I've, I've, I've been sleeping really, like I've been sleeping rough recently, and yeah, obviously, like people screaming and like flailing at you isn't a good thing normally. So I, I thought I was being attacked. And you start like rambling, like defensively. Perhaps I could recommend some form of taser or similar that should be sufficient to protect you when rough sleeping. Something non lethal Maybe you may be right. I had, to, I had to build this one myself. I, just, I couldn't. I couldn't be robbed again. It was. It's terrible. Uh, in that case, I will upload details uh, from CC's forum on how to make a homemade like a teaser. teaser. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, from stuff that you find in the scrap bins. And said, so, "Look, this will serve you much better." I think uh, Zig, you hear um, the people a couple of seats in front of you. Like, what's he doing now? Is he some kind of cop? Is he part? Of, that's not a steward's outfit he's wearing. What's he doing? Is that like a assassin? And then, like, there's just lots of mummering about the, um, obviously the the odd figure ahead. And uh, what you do now is he being arrested? I thought we paid for like private transport. Surely there's not CCTV in this as well. Um, you also hear I think, um, that you hear more I things as well, and uh, you hear them say, "What's he doing now? Is he telling him how to get a better weapon? Surely not." So you hear all that? Yeah. Um I think I think I uh, I think like it, it, is it like mostly from like what from like where whereabouts are we sitting? Are we sitting like right at the back or sure. like sort of a, uh sure are there like people next to us or So you just probably had like people in front. You probably had the seat, so see if there's five or whatever seats at the back of the bus, right? Yeah. We would probably sat in the middle because of the size of them. And then you probably sat the one to the left. So you probably like leaned over, noticed all the way up the aisle there was some blonde hair that just appeared. And you got up and walked all the way up. Hence this chaos. This kerfuffle. But yeah, so that happens. Um uh, doing anything with the date pad? I should just um, sit there. <laughs> I think no. Like, are, are there? What were, were like the the back seats full? Were yeah, because like, every, every, like every seat was taken. Every seat was taken. There's are, one are, spare seat it, now, technically. Yeah. So, like, as like, are, are the people talking? Like, is it the people at the front who are kind of gossiping about this sort of thing, or are the people You're like at, next to Zig talking just, about it? Just all of them having a chat. It's just murmurings yeah, from everyone. everywhere around you here, yeah. like. People far enough away to not be overheard by weird, obviously. Yeah, um, I think I think Zig would be like, um, he would kind of turn to the the people closest to him and be like, they are keeping their distance in the sense of obviously when you're trying to make sure your stuff doesn't touch their stuff because you're covered in blood. Oh shit! Yeah, bits. I forgot about that. Um, Do you, do you know what? I actually, uh, I think at that point, like, Zig would kind of just be like facing forward and just saying, "What? I, 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 I just don't understand." Hmm. Yeah, that's. You look down. Do you think that she had blinking light on the data pad? Uh, I, I think she was. It seems like she was a mid messenger chat with somebody. I think Sig would look at it in like the kind of like he would. Yeah, I think he would like look forward and go like I don't understand and like pick up the data pad as if it was his own. Mm -hmm. um, and that sort of like, maybe maybe it was in his hand, but kind of like do the whole motion of. Um, moving his hand to his like where his data pad usually would be, or like his like little like belt pouch or whatever, and like pick it up and 
just kind of look at it and scroll through it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just it's a open communication text chat with somebody she was obviously talking to. Mm. <laughs> when she got shot. Either like who is it, or is is there like a is there a lock on it, or is is it just like no? Because like, obviously she was chat? trying to chat to somebody when you were talking to her, so it's open. Yeah. Um. Is it what was like the sort of like last message? That... Well, the current message that's been there is, "Are you still there?" Question mark. Um. And uh, does it say who it's from, or is there like sort of like a is it just like a username or a? Uh, it's uh, saved under the contact of um, my asshole manager. My asshole manager. Okay. Yep. Cool. I think I think Zig would just like type back going. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. Sorry. Um, there was a. Um. There's an incident on the transport. I think he would type. Wait, could you scroll up through the chat? Did you try that? Sorry. He hasn't tried that now. Also, that. oh my god. Like, no, but I so, think he would send so that and it's then, then, Right, so you send and that, then, like, and then there's a reply. Go through the... Go through the like, so it does that thing where you're, oh, you've got to scroll up and then it obviously replies, like, an instant and does that exclamation mark, thing? exclamation mark, exclamation mark, yeah, it skips to the bottom again, and then uh, yeah. it says, uh, so, ex like, an incident, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, Bianca, I told you not to use, you know, transport, I could have came and picked you up. Um, I think I think at this point, like Zig would pro probably go like like scroll up like a little bit, just like to like the past, like maybe like five to ten messages. Yeah, and um, you can tell that this person because they've got their full name, obviously, and their kind of line every time you send a message is Bianca Thane. This person. Bianca called. Thane. So, B I A N C A Bianca and F A I N E. Bianca Thane. Oh. Cool. Uh, B I. Oh. Cool. There we go. I probably still spell that wrong, but that's not the point. Um. Mm. Uh, yeah. I, I, and is, I does like the actual messages give me any, like like context for what we're talking about? Or yeah. So you scroll through of... for a bit, obviously, and because that's what you do when you take a dead woman's like tablet and yeah it seems like she was gonna go claim some of the mountains on Akaton. Okay. Yep. Um she talks about like arranging it and what like her like touring all the different kinda the mountains because it's like, you know something she does. But cool. to learn more obviously uh, think... maybe you need to like look more into like whoever the fuck Bianca Fane is. Yeah, I think um, Zig would probably like message back and just be like, um, uh, I'm "Sorry, I just got caught up in the moment." Okay. Um, there, there's a. Is everything okay? What kind of incident is what comes back? I, I think um, Zig would just like kind of type out, um, "Oh, somebody." had a, a sort of panic attack sort of thing and uh, I <coughs> just sort of helped out um, got the, the bus driver to stop and um, oh, I say the bus driver the, the shuttle coordinator whatever they call themselves um, I mean this is an automated bus but yeah okay okay sure hit the emergency stop button and um, got them off the tr got them off the, the transport and, send me uh, your location I'll just come get you um, I think uh, Zig would look up to Weird. And just I mean, like, Weird's halfway up the bus, yeah. Yeah. Trying to console him, man. Like, I try and like non-verbally. Yeah, you mind link. Attention. I can't do that without touching him. So <laughs> I just like non-verbally try and like catch his attention. Um. It's probably a good thing I can't do that. Like, Surely. Non um, <laughs> yeah, so weird. Is there anything else you're saying to this dude after you've left that message and you've kind of sent them details about a taser? 
Uh, no, no. I think there's just kind of giving him advice on the yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you can. You head. You turn around. Maybe turn around. Sorry to look at like down the bus or whatever. And you see like Zig's kind of sat there staring at you, holding a data pad, half of him covered in blood. I walk up to Zig and pass him a towel. Trust you might have him on our space chamber. Nope, because that was emptied out for dragon bones. Oh, uh, no. I don't have my <laughs> towel. Nope, you're actually in really dangerous travel situation right now. This is why this happened. If you had your towel, yeah. it would never have happened. <laughs> I turn to the person next to me and go, do you have a towel? The, um, Not panicking, man. They kind of just look at you like... Uh, in fact, what would they do? What would they, would they even reply? I think they just kind of like do that thing where they're trying to politely just ignore you, like you try and do with youths on transport. That's fair. Yeah. And they just shake their head and kind of like almost cuddle into whoever they're traveling with next to them. Mm. Mm. So yeah, Zig, you've got his attention. He's right there. I think Zig would just like hold out the data pad and go. I thought I could deal with it, but I can't, so fix it. Please. I saw I walk back and sit down looking at his turn of the data pad. So, um, uh, yeah, just, it's everything we've spoke about, right? Yeah. So clearly, Bianca Fain was talking to her manager, and uh, Zig's pretending to be the manager based on the timestamps. Uh, not the manager, sorry, pretending to be Bianca. Take why why were you pretending to be Bianca? It it just seemed it seemed like the, the right idea at the time. I switch out of the uh out of that chat and go looking for next of king contacts, I guess. Yeah. And uh Yep, we've got like a list for like our parents and stuff, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, do I know whether in Hive Market there are any sort of authorities who would deal with this? Yeah, you know, Hive Market, there are no authorities beyond like gangs yeah. and whoever the local crew in charge at the time are, which changes a lot. So, no, uh, this yes. is like, like, Akata <laughs> doesn't really have police. Um, yeah, yeah. Which is why everyone was like, are you the police? What? This is new. We paid to not have uh, this. Um, I will contact the next of kin then. Right, okay, yeah. So just like open up like yeah. a kind of... Is it like you're going to like messenger them or are you going to try and phone them? Uh, I'll try to phone them directly. Yeah, and it's probably, it's probably the same like, you know, please leave a message to like forward on. Yeah. Um, Usually that message means they're like off, like not on the same planet. Yeah. So I leave a message saying that uh, their relative died in an instant okay. uh, on Ankaton. Uh Their body is being held in Hive Market. Would I know to leave it with the... Would it be the first transportation? Oh. Say that again, sorry. <laughs> yep. I ran out of oxygen. Um, would it be left with the transport company? Or... Right, no, because remember this yeah. is automated and it's going to return to Daza. This was Daza supplied shuttle that just oh, yeah. drops people yeah. off to like, wherever there's enough people willing to pay to go. So, yeah. Probably won't send the body back with it. You could, um, you could probably name something that's probably like somewhere in Hive Market everybody knows, right? Yeah. Like, you could probably name uh, that probably a sure. temple or something, actually. Temple is a good idea. Yeah, I'll find some sort of well, like the biggest church in Hive Market. Table, it's, probably, it it's probably to Abadar, let's face it. Yeah. Because money and hive market is literally the black market, so yeah. Yep. So, so we're leaving them with Abadar. The church of Abadar. Yeah. Um, and they should make arrangements to pick her up from there. Right, cool. And you, like, you know, message confirmed, sent off planet, etc. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and you just have this person's, like, personal data pad, I guess. Uh, I'll just have a quick flick through to see what line of work they're in. Uh, yeah, you flick through it. Um, maybe a quick space Google. 
as well. And uh, Bianca Finn's just a really famous extreme sports celebrity. You, you got a celebrity killed. So she'll like travel to like the most extreme like environments to try and like prove she can climb it, like free climb it and shit like that. Mm. <laughs> See. Yeah, Zig. Is she the sort of person that would be recognised by someone on the bus? I mean, she is famous enough that by googling her, you found her. Yeah. But if nobody's interested in extreme sports, like I mean, yeah, you know, it's like yeah. how people know, obviously, Anna Kurnikova, right, and also like Andy Murray, maybe. Alex Arnold. Yeah, I was I thinking think... about um, Tony Hawk and how he yeah. always talks about people oh, yeah. asking him if he's Tony Hawk or saying, you look like Tony Hawk. I wonder what happened to him. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, like, it's probably yeah, I think we... akin to that. She's maybe not quite Tony Hawk levels of fame. She's no video games about her, right? But, um... Yeah. yeah. Sucks yeah. to be hard. Right. Yeah, there might, there might be some true crime novels. <laughs> maybe now. Yeah. Um... Podcast. But to the point, oh, like, like, I think I think it. that like if we like if we all sort of got on the transport roughly at the same time. Um Brian, you can correct me if that was just it, just what we keep going. What's the Okay. No, but like if if people like didn't like actively go, Oh, that's that person as we were on the on the transport, then I don't think that she would be "Quote unquote famous enough for like the people on the transport to be." That's not an unreasonable point. Yeah, or like, everybody on the transport oh, is also shifty and doesn't want to be bothered. How much of her face is surviving to be recognised anyway? Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like at the point, like if she's famous <laughs> enough that we could Google her, but like how how different does she look from her like Ten you know IMDb like, page? <laughs> Um, to like how she was traveling in her sweatpants and her comfy jumper and her. You she know. was obviously doing that celebrity cool thing where you rough it to your destination to get a feel for the culture, right? That's clearly what yeah, she was. Yeah. She got a feel for the culture. Yeah, right. This is yeah, it's on. Yep, hundred percent. She's only got a feel for the culture. So anyway, right? So she was basically wearing like. What's the last know. scene between you two, um, on the coach then, as <laughs> weird discovers? Who she is and says you got a celebrity killed. Uh, Zig, do you have any more of that those tin foil sheets? I think there's a cat's one. <laughs> so I think I think I think Zig could pull out that one and be like, um one. Yes, between that and the various other bits I've got, I can wrap her up. Yeah, and you want to just go and like yeah. Deal, with, deal with the body. Yeah. Yep. We cut over. Here's your Bianca burrito. <sighs> okay. Terrible. Well, I guess I guess I'm marking that off my inventory. But that's wow. That's the that's the pain here, is it? <laughs> um, yeah. Right. So we skip over to the other two. Um, you just before landing, um, maybe go and check in on we CC. Do you, Zora? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I know. Uh, yep. Can I just hear the equivalent of purring? Nice. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Yeah, like, the differences in the tone in this game, right? Um, <laughs> we have that lovely <laughs> vacuum. <laughs> you fucking blood on your hands, literally and metaphorically. <laughs> you left me with the murder rat. <laughs> <laughs> the murder rat. <laughs> You know what he is? He is like, he's like a fucking child that like just walks up to like a, a, a small animal and just squishes it to see what will happen. So, you just land in Hive Market. Obviously, we agreed that you just want to land outside Hive Market. Yeah, where it's safe. <laughs> the desert. And then... Um, the mountainous desert. Alright, I'll change this from that screen. To like, yeah. The deserted mountain. So the like, mountain of... The mountain, mountain of, of desert. Yep. Uh, right, so we'll move you over. So it's been many hours, many of the travel hours. Um, and we'll move the. Bip, 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 bip. 
Boop. Everything's moved and then they undo all that because I moved the map. Do -do 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 -do. So, uh, click button. So, I think we agreed these were going to land like there, was it? Like, you know, somewhere to the side of Hive Market. Yeah, yeah, that's about oops. right. Yep. Oops, I'm on the. Close up the mountains, yeah. Boop. Got it. Oh, yeah, just click it in. So, yeah, we've got a. Uh, right, he's parked just on the outskirts of Hive Market, maybe like on like a kind of a raised plateau mountain bit, so you've got a wee bit of a trick yeah. to get to the city. Um, Obviously trying to avoid any obvious mountain bandit camps. And um yeah, I think as you land and you gear up to head into the the city, I would say that uh, the time it took you to get here, you've maybe got a couple of hours. Um you're maybe an hour outside Hive Market in terms of walking, right? Um uh -huh. which seems reasonable. You've also got the the other shuttle will be due and like I don't know three hours or some shit, right? Like, arbitrary time to kill in Hive Market if you've got anything you just want to do as a team before heading off. Uh, just gear up, head out. Yep. And we've got the the shot of you guys all like kind of like descending down the uh, the mountainside. Lyco, can you give me a will save? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I would love nothing more. I know. Uh, uh, 16. Perfect. Like, uh, yeah, plus two in that. Yeah. <laughs> or plus one or whatever. Yeah, the plus one to mind effects. Uh, you got to take a couple of steps, then like the kind of the red sands beneath your feet are all black and white. Okay. Yep. And you kind of look up, and there's no. There's no Zora, or CC. You look behind you, and there's no shuttle. There's no like topography either. It's just this like white sand. Underneath you, or can possibly grey, you're unsure. Okay. You can still feel the heat though. And like, there's clearly still like a sun up there somewhere, I am beating down, and that kind of heat rays type effect on the distance. And then you just okay. hear the voice as if you've just been spoken to, like a memory, saying, You're close. Good. Okay. So um, you, you remember that as if someone yeah. had spoke to you. Yeah, I think I know where we're going with this. <laughs> yep. Was, um, how does Lyco respond? Lyconus. Do I recognize that as Ramasethu? Is that who's speaking yeah. to me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if we'd acknowledge it because of the sort of feeling of it being a memory almost. Yeah, like you remember you've just been told that, yeah. Yeah, like this is something that's happened rather than something that's happening. Agreed. Um, yeah. So I guess I keep on moving. Yeah. And um, I think, yeah, you've got this strange, as you like step forward, things like kind of the white sand and heavy heat blurred landscape kind of fades away back into the colour as it kind of bleeds back into your vision. Okay. And uh, you remember the the voice also saying, "You will know the way." Well, and, there you go. I um, will know the way. And we we end it there, where we just see Lyco kind of looking out into the kind of the distance, and there is very obvious color changes in Lyco's vision, where it seems like there is a path marked out. As if cool. some places are like black and white and other places have the colour. And we cut there. That's the end of the session. So what are we naming this? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll touch it with kill. I don't know. Um Bunch of guilt. Well, I wrote in a couple of things as well during this madness. So was it being burrito? <laughs> tin foil balloon backpack <laughs> bullshit was one. Then also, Hobby. are you still there? Is what I wrote uh, down. Uh, we had that one before. Uh, let me just 
check? I don't think so, but let's find out. So we had... Quickly scanning through the rest of them... We've got, are we leaving? I've got... Uh, I'll see you in Absalom. You came for me. You won't believe the day I've had. I fought the law. Well, <laughs> I, I prefer the dead Kennedy's version. I follow the sun. Nope, we've not had that one yet. I so prefer we've the got, Robin Fish version. So we've got... Are you still there? Uh, mm -hmm. Then that's really it. That's all I really wrote down. Um, also, I just wrote not technically as well. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes. so how about... I'm going to just type them in. So are you still there? Question mark is one of mine. Because uh, I really liked the fact that, that the first thing Zig does is just instantly end pretend. Line. End of the line, yeah. Uh, dead end. There's a lot of dead ends in this <laughs> session. <that's>... <laughs> <laughs> dead uh, man uh, slash woman walking. Murder on the uh, Akatoni Express is pretty good. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all know. right. Um, although is it considered like manslaughter on the Akatoni Express? <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, um, you will know the way, I guess. Way is the uh, way. Just the way, isn't it? The way. Um, the way. I'm trying to think what else happened. Um, yeah, we... I really like end of the line and dead end. Are both really good as well. I like dead end because there was a lot of dead ends when you. I like mean, if you like it, I don't see any votes for it. I like <laughs> both of them because I came up with both of them, uh, but also um, because. No, but... no like, carry on, Colin. There's, there's <laughs> the there's the the mirroring of Lyco on this journey towards a ship of the dead, and you. Getting an innocent person killed on your journey, and the, the, there's all, and, and and on top of that, there's always there's also the, you know, like every noodle stand is another dead end. Oh, and right, weird doing cop shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th this is if if I were the sort of person who posted Conspiracy Creek, unironically, I'd be like calling this synchronicity. I'd be investigating. What about synchronicity the then? Or do you not like it's it not enough? Got, not got a pun in dead in it. No, that's true. <laughs> there's, there's no pun. <laughs> dead similar? I can't dead. believe oh. you did that! Dead, I knew. Do you know what? Dead ringer, because you got a phone call from the dead at the end as well. And, and they pretended to be a dead... Well, he... Yep. Did, sorry, dead I'm ringer. not going to put this yeah. in the ears. Yep. Dead ringer's alright. Dead, dead ringer's not bad. I don't mind all. that. Eh? Eh? Well, I'm going to vote for my own thing, so... <laughs> uh, you just vote for what you like and we'll put up the, the most popular, and that'll be it. And then, a couple of weeks in the line, we'll think of a better name, and we'll regret it. So... There's no reason we can't change it in post. <laughs> <laughs> That's change it. it in post. No, it's really <laughs> funny, I was going through, like... Um, the finale's called cool. Change It in Post, you know that, right? <laughs> I think it was the second session of, like, the, one of the Sunday games. Mm. And uh, you said, uh, Ryan, edit in post. And I was sitting there editing things in post going, I'm mm -hmm. going to leave that there. Yep. <laughs> Good. I'm going to leave that as it is. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, everyday happy with Deadringer then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yep. Plus, I mean, you've also put posters up of Edgar and stuff like that as well. So, yeah. You're kind of hoping for... Some He'll forward. appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When he listens to the podcast. I think he likes the attention, you know. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, right, I'll type that in. We've got session title, Dead Ringer. Good. Um, my God, what a session. Um, that was, um, yes, that was good. So, goals. Let us discuss those things, right? Let us start from the top. Uh, right, so, goal one. Who wants to venture a guess? Uh, uh, find suitable oh, source yeah. income. That's so, not done yet. Not done. Is it still something that can be done? Uh, yeah. Okay, you're still wanting to pursue it? Yeah, may as well. So, I think status, pursuable, and is it going to be pursued are the three steps to the goals, right? So, fine, happy with that. Goal two. It's cool. Achieved? Hmm. Maybe new mm. things have to be done as part of that, right? Yeah, it kind of depends what's happening between. You may also just have to buy Zig some anti-psychic mittens. Mm. Or yeah, um, counselling. Just could give him a straight jacket, so he can't touch anyone. 
Yeah. Um, I swear, one of these times. It's worked plenty of times. Gonna work it, it, I mean, as, it did work. Like, it, I mean, it has worked in the past. But I swear, like, no, one of these too. times, like, normal that it's just going to. We're, not, gonna we're not talking about how Flawless to review like, the game. We're talking about goals. So is goal two still okay. viable? Uh, yes, I just need to be more active in it, I think. Yep, that's why I want to do the three questions of what's the status of it just now, yeah. is it still pursuable based on what's happening, and are you still going to pursue it? Yeah. I just realised something. Cool. Did you just go and see the Queen? Did I, did I miss that part? They never went and seen her. No. <laughs> they <laughs> they, they checked in on her at the very start, and they kind of, yeah, during the many hours of use killing time, well, you got to CC's place, which was nine hours of time they had to kill, then okay. they were able to check up on the Queen. Yep. Plus, obviously, they got an update from the the blood, right? As well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they've they've got contact with them, with Morty. Um, right, goal three. Status. I would say that's been achieved. It seems to be, if we can trust CC to have done what he says he's done. How far do you trust CC? I mean, he seems like a trustworthy guy, but you know. I don't think he he would knowingly not do things, but he you know he said he'd completed it, so I think it's done. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't be completely shocked if it weren't done. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's done. Move that to the completed list. I would say so. Yeah, tried. What you need to do? Nope, you're still not understanding the way the goals work. So you need. To I, I don't believe in uh, understanding. Things. Doesn't go to the bottom. Goes to the top. You need to make a new line at the top. Why have you done this to us, right? <laughs> it was all explained many moons ago. Yeah, but I obviously didn't take it in. It was to save us uh, having to scroll down to see what the most recent stuff was. Scroll. Don't give a shake. To okay. fix it. Um. So where am I? Where? Where am I putting it? Just at the very so, top. So here. you need to right-click, insert cells. Yep. <sighs> Jeff down, and then, and then paste it in. What kind of monster uses insert sales? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> there you go. Means okay. So, goal three. Goal four. I I would say that I have taken a first step towards that. Yeah. And. You're on the way there. I, it's taken slightly longer than anticipated. Like I thought we maybe got there a session uh, goal, maybe. But next session, I'm confident we have had an interaction delayed, with that's her. That's fine. Yeah. Um, so that is it is clearly developing, and I think we're we're going to get that one soon. Um, so I'm happy to stick with. Cool. Goal five. I mean, I th I feel like we've done pretty much like other other than you know. Just going to the center of the the radioactive mm -hmm. yeah. um, core. We've done basically all we can to kind of at least put the prep in for either <laughs> progressing the goal or failing the goal. Um, <laughs> wow, this is like a Colin explanation for <laughs> yeah, something. Is, but it was like for something that Colin doesn't even care about explaining. He just wants to talk. Um, so I think yeah, you and. You and Weird have put in some good work there, right? He's got his face out there, so he's not. It's like he can just go somewhere without somebody noticing him now, right? He's definitely canvassed like hours worth of Daza. Yeah, and I mean, like uh, at least somebody is going to at least. Well, somebody has noticed, you know, right? Somebody's noticed that you know. Oh, that's that guy I saw at that noodle stand that one time. At least one person on this entire planet knows who Edgar is. And has seen that ad. Or what I meant was somebody noticed that you two are doing stuff on the planet because there was that person on the roof with a gun. Uh, no, we don't. We don't need to worry about that. You don't need to because you don't know about that. That, that that's, didn't happen. Yeah, that's like that's super just, meta. You know, super meta. Mm -hmm. And Maybe also, you know, what? I don't, like what? even even like even if we went like even what? if yep. like new meta that didn't actually happen. Mm -hmm. That was just that was just a blip in the the, the reality. Space time, space. You know, space so, time. Can you... do we think it's pursuable then? Goal five. You're sticking with it. <laughs> wow. 
That's when you're meant to answer me. I'm going to say yes. Okay, good However, enough. However, if people want to interject and say this isn't like a pursuable goal, feel free to just... Um, how many more must die? That really is the question. Should be in the session title. <laughs> I might make that a chapter title. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think it's still pursuable, let's face it. You still seem to be working on it, otherwise, why bother in the first place? Also, when you're meeting up with the two of us, we might be able to chip in and assist in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By two of us. But that might be a... Just like... Might be... Might be... Also, there's, th there's, <laughs> there's three of you in that squad now, remember? You've got CC with you. You know, to be fair, if it interests Craig, he can probably find the fuck out of someone. There's the key phrase, right? If it interests him, yeah. Interests him, yeah. Tell him he's a rainbow demon, and he'll be like all over it. Mm, maybe. Maybe his interests don't lie in the rainbow demon direction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, right, so goal three is empty just now, guys. And to get any from what came up in this particular session, and to get anything that, or perhaps from previous sessions, on uh, fix Zig. No, we're not spaying him. I don't mean spay him, no. <laughs> <laughs> I really that came up in yesterday's game as well. Nice. <laughs> What's Spain Zig? Spain Cal. No, anyway. Um, so, <laughs> so, yeah, I would actually say that there's a viable goal possible, and it's probably Weird and um, Zig that are likely to pursue it more than the other two, but obviously the other two could then help based on the, the sinking up of the parties again. But Is it clearing up the dead body? No. You've kind of dealt with Clear that up, yeah. as, okay. as best you can. <laughs> the actual like fucking extreme sport climbing mountain lady. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, what about your? He's actively trying to chase down leads on a blonde woman. Yeah. Yes. You could make that something, unless you want to just leave that as tied in with the Edgar stuff. But it could be a separate thing entirely. It's up to you. That's the only other thing that. Really I think that's up. a good idea. The other thing, right? So that's that one. Says together on it as well. Put the queen in as a goal in some way. Yeah. or Zig's blood. So you've got three. He does have blood, doesn't he? Yeah. One of them obviously does ties he, in. Does to... he have blood? Because, th like, even if he goes and gets it, like, you know, blood. like, here's here's the record of Zig's blood. Oh, wait, it doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. We should do some run some tests on him. See, to be fair, in 10 sessions' time, when Zig goes back in time to steal his own blood sample, this will all make sense. So you, you've gone. I missed. Away I missed me. all of that. I yeah, said, same. see, in ten sessions' time, when Zig goes back in time to steal his own blood sample, this will all make more sense. Yeah. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. <laughs> Do you know what? Yes, that's fair. <laughs> um, it's up to you. It's just that's, an, that's an obvious that option, right? That, that yeah. could tie into some stuff I might do. Well, you just want to, uh, like, does them to have a strong idea for what the goal could be? Because it can still be changed at the start of next week, remember? It's just, I wondered if it gives me a chance to write something, you know? Well, I, I want an excuse to get back in touch with Nesma Keck, like. Okay, yeah. I mean, that could be something that's going to come up in conversation but once you just ask about the Queen, right? When you reconnect. Then she's never did that when you calmed in. That's true, we didn't. That was. Yeah, yeah poor Queenie. Flying about in her shuttle and everything. Uh, but yeah, what's the thoughts on goal three then? Any strong contenders? I can't think of it right though. I'll vote for the Zig Blood Chronicles. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy to go down the Zig, like, blood. So, space back jank. in Daza then? You want to make a goal about Daza? <laughs> Maybe not immediately. <laughs> <laughs> because just... I don't know if my spirit can take it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is is there like a a blood donation bank in? Um... But I will want to go back there for Nesma Keck, like so slightly longer run. Absolutely. Just depends if you think you've got something you can resolve in Hive Market before then. Because the you are going to have time where Lyco's on the Lyco journey. Yeah. Well, I think there'll be mm. good stuff for Weird to do there while I'm off doing undead shit. I'm looking forward to it. You can do robot Any goals shit, not robot in mind to pursue? Uh, I'd actually be tempted to see if I can meet up with the old crew. Yeah, like try Find and... out what happened to... Yeah, uh, I think that's a, a reasonable thing. Try and... Yeah. 
pop that in then. That could be a, a valuable. I don't know how much you've thought about how. Connect... I don't know if my Chrome is letting me. Well, maybe Chrome uh, is racist. Yep. I'm sure, one of the other racist. many gentlemen will help you out. Racist. Please. It should be Callum for all he's done. <laughs> and for all of his transgressions. Um, it might be an interesting opportunity if you're going to get sort of in touch with your old crew to explore uh, that connection because we I don't know if you've discussed it further with Ryan or the others but I know you did talk about the possibility of connecting uh, Nix 5 and Lyco's past um, yeah and I think I mean if you I think it's quite possible there could be an, a connection there that you know, Lyco wouldn't necessarily be aware of, so I think that could be very interesting. Because uh, Lyco's past is kind of becoming present then, because if you... Um, so, here's a little bit of, um, again, that sort of uh, bookending, that mirroring that I love so much. i save it for the, the postcard, yeah, and yeah. we'll okay, have the gold. Yeah. No, it's good, it first, is good. Because there's still it's nothing typed in yet. If somebody could type in a goal for me, please, about connecting with the old crew, because Chrome has abandoned me in my hour of need. Yep. Even if you want to put the wording you want into like Discord or something, if that's easier for you, Alex, we can at least uh -huh. send you to transmit it over. And once that's done, we can do our wrap up chat. Um. Okay, you, know how, you, you know how complicated that is, the way you've typed that, Alex, because, like, is it the Mark 1 Nix? Is it Nix 5? Is it like. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Nix 5 you're talking about. Yep. Yeah, good man. Um, good. So, I'm just going to save all of this work and just do that since. Callum, why is goal. Oh, there we go. Ignore um, it. Yep, what's happening? Why is it all bad? <laughs> There we go. Based on like last Wednesday, Done. you should put my ability on destroying yep. spreadsheets. It's fine. Just somebody fix the formatting of it for me and we'll move on to the wrap-up chat. Callum, that's you, by the way. Also, why don't we start with uh, Weird? Oh, God. Oh, God, man. Uh, no, that was fantastic. Not how I expected Weird to be spending his time. Um, right. But it's good to flex his newfound social muscles. Yeah, I really oh, like that version of Weird. To back it, up. it was nice to see Weird be like, there's no Lyco, so I'll have to do this. I'll do the Lyco thing. Yeah, it's good. Um, no, it was really fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think very much different where Nick's probably sat back and just waited till it resolved itself. I like that we've got some, some old school Nick still with the hacking the diner stuff though. As well. Oh yeah, um, yeah. That's fun. Uh, he still does that. Uh, like, I, I feel like almost. if this was a TV show, this would be the running joke where somebody goes, "Right, cool, I'll go hack this this thing so we can move the plot along," and it just harsh cuts to a diner because, of yep. course, that's where you would hack from. <laughs> yeah, he never he never goes for the high end stuff. No, nope. he's the um, mediocre bandwidth guy. Yeah, it's reminded me of a show, and I can't remember what. But yeah, just the, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Actually, no, it's reminded me of The Core, that film. All right, okay, but yeah. The Core, where the hacker is just like, uh, he just needs Hot Pockets and Buffy the Vampire DVDs. <laughs> and that, that's the only thing he asked for mm -hmm. from the government to yep. get part, take part in the hacking project. Uh, that's the level of hacker he's at. It's reasonable. Yeah. yeah. I imagine Weird's got a similar retainer for the captain. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't freak out any time I build a bomb accidentally. Or deliberately. <laughs> also, um, let me build bombs. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, CC's development. Um, right, okay. He's adorable. Thank you. Um, I kind of love him. Skitsmanders generally, I just love them conceptually. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Again, another place where Starfinder shines, right? Yeah. Wonderful. I also like the random uh, tip of like, Lysander Jarlin, right? In fucking world lore building. Um, random journalists that go missing um, and shuttle accidents and then you've got obviously fucking Bianca Fane, sports extreme person there, you know aye it's good, good for lore 
to win sessions in. Yeah, and the disparity in tone between our two groups. <laughs> um, I, I do feel like has the mind link ever done good? Um, I think the like law of all... averages suggests <laughs> that eventually <laughs> something good will come out of the second last session. The law of averages. Yep, there we go. It definitely gets the point yep. across fast, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. It does. Uh, I think we've learned to be more selective in what we transmit into other people's brains. Have we? Have we? Or was that like a weird yeah. screen, Callum? <laughs> Well, I have learned <laughs> that, that Zig should be more careful. Uh, like, on a random woman transmitting fucking weird rainbow shadow demon despair field Edgar. It's not ideal. Never mind just inside the vault at all. That horrible, clammy, sweaty, dark place being chased It was an inch of your life with fucking vault guardians. Mm shot at by Drew. Like, it's not ideal, is it? No wonder she screamed as everything <laughs> yeah, okay. Zig I, experienced. The, the inclusion of the word everything might have been uh, yeah. a mishap, but, you know. I, I Sat next to a shifty sleeper, obviously, as well. Not ideal. Murder hooper. Literal murder hooper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the session, though. Literal murder hobo. Um... <laughs> Uh, hey, at least I got I did my good deed helping him out. Yeah, and you might also have a lawyer's contact details now, if you still practice. Yes. <laughs> Maybe handy. We'll find out. Hopefully he gets back to me. Yeah. Um, so random. Uh, yeah, anything else you want to add? Weird. Just, uh, just trying to decide whether or not to keep the data pad and try and, you know, just criminal identity theft mm. of a celebrity. Because you've already next of kin them, so yeah. eventually that'll get out right of the system, or the orbit will hit wherever they live. Yeah, and it's uh, oh, we've done enough good deeds that we should be able to just, you know, she's gonna have a big bank account or something, <laughs> right? Uh, I could be a super or something, come right. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the goals. <laughs> uh, yeah. Clearly, that's what Zig was doing. It was the long game to getting the first goal complete. That's what it was. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, kid, obviously. Man. Fucking hell. Um, any more thoughts on that then? Uh, no, no. That's okay. good. Good, good. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, I really enjoyed Weird this session, not going to lie. It was really. It was good because there was a lot of like, Weird doesn't really know what to do at the start, but then it felt very controlled in the last half. Which is interesting. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's good. Uh, Zora. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving that we just turn into Robocop. Fantastic, <laughs> man. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it's just like one line shot at Robocop. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's because amazing. one word shot at Robocop is creep. <laughs> 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 um, uh, that was. I love it. I love it when uh, weird and Zig like just get in the room together. It's when conspiracy Craig devices start getting made. Um, maybe, maybe a, a touch less of um, mind, mind frosting, but that's that's fine. It's not mind frost. It's mind whatever link. it's called. Is it mind frost? Mind link. That's the one. Mind link. Mind thrust mind is, is something else. Devastating attack. But well, it might as well be a though? devastating attack. Yeah. Like I think that your link's more devastating. Um, if only you hadn't rolled a fucking sixty on a d sixty. Uh, yeah, no. Um, can I just like bidoof this? Yeah, mind thrust is worse. Can we have. Can we have a look at that? Thirty six. <laughs> just just can everyone just look at that for a second? Yeah. Uh, at least then, it'd be, like maybe you should mind frost random people instead. It'd be quicker that way. <laughs> like, More intended. <laughs> uh, less like psychological like terror <laughs> involved. Honestly, the dice rolls that have happened. Okay, to, oh my god, that's to, a horrific roll. To get to 
the situation Zig has done with mind links are I, mean, I feel like I should stop him doing it at some point. Yeah, it's just like right now. Not allowed to do the mind like anymore. <laughs> it, just it, it was it really funny because sheet. I was like, I really don't want to do this, but like, there has to be a time where this just works. <laughs> we'll get like, to that. Right, to. we'll get to you. Don't worry. We'll come back to you in a uh, sec. So I want to unpack that. Right, but Zora. Uh, right. Also enjoy CC. It's we yeah. fucking annoying. We sex and mug. Love it. Uh, is difficult, but eh, it's like, it's like wearing a pet monkey, right? Right. <laughs> Silence. I <get> monkey. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> he's, he's a skittermander, right? <sighs> so yeah. A monkey. <laughs> he's oh. like a pet monkey. <laughs> exactly. A skittermander. Oh, <laughs> sure. Um, I think and... there's a way to deal with CC, and I think when you eventually learn how to deal with CC, it will make so much sense. But until you learn that, it's going to be hilarious. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm here for it, quite frankly. Um, um other than that, yeah, um, it was a good session. I really enjoyed it. It was. Quite Zora Light, something. actually. It's uh... quite Zora Light, but I mean, it's stuck in a shuttle. There's not really much to do in a shuttle besides shuttle, shuttle stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, I expected this to transition very quickly to the, the part where everybody lands in the hive market, but then sometimes the games have a <laughs> sometimes way Sometimes of... that doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes a woman gets shot. <laughs> <laughs> It's terrible that we're laughing at that, but like... It's so fucking bad to pull off. But yeah, that, that, that's, that's a bit out for me. Um, less mind linking, more Robocop. I think it's like um, the euphemia of this game. Uh, yeah. Because that's the level of tragic that was. I was um, the lush. I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I think it's like less, less intent, quite frankly. Uh, <laughs> I think Lulish had less intent. <laughs> <laughs> At least he did the bad thing by accident. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fun. Um, yes, I should add. No, that's that's good for me. Okay. Hey, uh, Lyco, we're gonna go to the glass, obviously. Uh, yeah, I can understand why. Um, no. so several several points. Um, no, I, I, How does I it feel that. being in the competent side of the game for now, the most progressive side of the game? How dare you? Um, <laughs> I am always uh, competent and uh, powerfully progressive. Um, I, I think it's uh, it's quite <laughs> it's quite um, fitting that we just sort of end up doing things that that really without consciously think about it my part and i don't know how much that goes for alex for instance too that that link the two characters and and give a sense of uh of a, a of a sort of mirror image of each because i really was struck by the fact that like here is weird in my absence being the cop mm -hmm. um and being a very different kind of cop obviously one much more fitting to his personality um and not so qualified. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's qualified. Um, and I, I just thought it was really interesting that, that this this just seems to be a very organic thing that's emerged. That there are these uh, similarities between characters at times that weren't really to any degree that I'm aware of. No one sat down and thought, "I'm going to make my character so that it reflects X, Y, and Z about other people's characters." As far as I know. Mm -hmm. We were all sort of making our own thing, and there just happened to be ways in which it clicked really nicely. Um, Zig's slightly psychopathic behavior. Um, <laughs> I, I is... want to say, hold on, sociopath <laughs> is probably more accurate. Um, probably. Uh, neither of them are medical terms. Don't yeah. you? Don't you get like that with me? <laughs> but it was uh, a little alarming. Not gonna lie. Um, but it's interesting. Like it's it sort of drives home the, the consequences of messing with 
with people's head like that. I mean, so far, it's really been people uh, known to him and people who are, you know, potentially quite powerful or, you know, they're in a situation that was relatively controlled. Um, so I, it hasn't, we haven't really seen, and I'm going to draw a comparison to what the Queen did. <laughs> like, just picked a person in public, went, your mind will do. Um, and be damned with the, you know, the, the consequences be damned. Uh, and, and he ended up surviving, but she very much implied he might not have. I think her um, uh, her words were to the effect of, yeah, you, you know, if he's strong enough minded, he'll come back. So, in a way, it was akin to what the Queen did. It was the inverse in terms of he was giving information to see if she recognised it rather than taking it. But yeah, she's a taker, he's a giver. We know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, the actual the effects, uh, the way it played out, um, the intentions, it's all very similar. And that's interesting too because obviously the Queen almost dotes on him. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, so, yeah, that's a, that's a, an, another... Uh, another interesting little connection between those two, and obviously, his backstory ties him to the the sister of the queen, the late sister. Um, but obviously, mm -hmm. she has some interest in him, and, and that's mm, maybe going to come come into uh, to play in a large way later. I'm sure. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it was it was it was an unusual session because we had two really striking tonal. <laughs> Shout like there. Uh, so it's not a session without you yawning now, apparently. But it's oh, no, I know I do apologize. Okay. I know we're I'm late awful. anyway, um, so yeah. But yeah, it was it was that almost um, slice of life comedy with uh, with us <laughs> like just getting on with many tasks with our weird new friend, and I mean that weird <laughs> yai uh, sense. Uh, is and strange, uh, and and that was cool, and it was sweet, right? And and it was really it was it was ordinary stuff. It was uh, it was day to day. It wasn't plot oriented, really. It was like here is the reality of being in this situation where you are dealing with a creature that has obviously huge uh, intellectual capacity, uh, but it has the uh, attention span. Uh, and uh, a lot of the behaviours of like a severe ADHD six-year-old, right? It's it's like um, you know, you, it, it's six a.m. and they've come down and thrown a toy truck in your face to wake you up. Um, like it was that level of what? what? Ah, intent. It's too, and that's like um, yeah, it's it's not. It's not a big plot development or anything, but it is. It's interesting for the characters to have to deal with that because it's a very uh, human situation, despite being a very alien one. Uh, yeah, right. So that was fun, and uh, then the captain sort of having to play babysitter was, was um, <laughs> quite frightening. Yeah. Brian, if they were going to make a movie, if they were going to make a, a nice little feel good movie out of this series, it would have to be the captain babysitting. <laughs> <laughs> Two Americans and a skirt reminder, yeah. yeah. Um, so that was glorious. But yeah, all round, interesting stuff. Um, bit of development, and I was going to mention um, something from Lyco's backstory, I found very interesting. So, uh, I've talked about how Lyco died before killed by a necromancer during, or sort of on duty, but the necromancer wasn't uh, necessarily known as such. Um... So the backstory was essentially like, and this is out of character, I don't know how much depth they've gone to in, in character, he probably only vaguely hinted at it. Um, he was a smuggler of Eoxian artifacts. And what's like on his journey to do? Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, so there's just these, like, these little things that are just coming back up in a different way, and it's not quite the same situation, but there's that echo there. There's, um, there's not... Um, as you know, um, who, who was it that said uh, history doesn't repeat itself, but often rhymes? There's that sense, and I really like it. 
Um, yeah, it's almost like uh, things happening in weird, like mirror darkly similarity. Mm. Yeah, it's. Are you <laughs> saying there's some sort of plan? I'm saying that <laughs> if I was the type of person to plan stuff like this based on what you all told me back in character gen long, long ago, maybe I would have put it into the story somewhere. Maybe not. That's what I'm well saying. then. <laughs> it's really uh, saying nothing. Yeah. So um, that was that was a good one. That was an interesting one, and I look forward to next week. And I open the floor to uh, the man with the um, video drone touch. Video killed the radio star. Zig. Hi. Hi. So. Oh my god. So. So that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh-huh. I'm so I tell you for sure, it was um, entertaining. Um, um, it was definitely something. Um, I really enjoyed that. Like, all of that. That was just, it was just really fun. Uh-huh. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. If it helps, uh, progress was made. Progress was made, yes. Um... <laughs> Whether or not progress is made in the right direction is debatable. Um, mm-hmm. But, um, you know, uh, yes. Um, I think as as Zig, I, I think this is kind of like a horrifically wonderful sort of moment that, you know, as things start to, you know, go well, um, there's always something to kind of just punch you in the face and take you back. <laughs> so here's my question, <laughs> which is why I asked you to hold off on some things until the the post game. What was the plan, the intention, when you were going to send her all the, you know, the Edgar stuff? What was the ideal goal out of all of that? The ideal goal was... Firstly, you know, eventually something's good gonna is gonna come out of Mind Link, right? Something has to. Eventually, the law of averages. When you see suggests, something good, right? Like, like what I what what what, what I wish what I wished as the ideal scenario, which I knew that probably wouldn't happen. <laughs> Understatement. <laughs> the ideal scenario would be like, oh yes, ah. Oh. This person has just like shared with me the person that I've been dealing business with. Ah! Oh, wait. The person I've been dealing business with isn't it's necessarily a, shadow a great monster. guy. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I think I'll just team up with this guy and just, you know. But no. <laughs> it led to. Worse than I expected, to be honest. What I expected <laughs> was <laughs> to be like just sort of like rejected and denied and gone like this person would just be like, oh my god, just get the fuck away from me. But no. Unfortunately, this potentially lovely person mm-hmm. lost their lives because <laughs> the fucking asshole next to them was a twitchy ass, sleepy bastard. Um,. Yeah, so... To be fair, though, right, if there was, like, a ticket collector or some shit as well, they'd probably get shot as well, right? So you could probably take solace yeah, in that no, like thing, in, in, which is in why the, these in things the twitchy, are automated. In the Twitchy guy's defence, like, if he got disturbed, he'd probably have shot anyone. Mm-hmm. Um, It's just unfortunate that he happened to shoot the person that I was like, oh, here we go. But... Yep. Okay, how how did you find yeah. the rest of the session? Um, I mean, other than that, I mean, the session was it was just really fun. Um, I I think I I'm just really enjoying um, Zig and Weird. Uh, uh, they're sort of kind of. I th- I think it's the kind of like the difference between Zig and Weird and Zig and Nix. Mm. Um, the it. it you know where like sort of Nyx was like I don't want to say icon to Zig but this like 
maybe the person who had all the knowledge that they could be like, oh, here, blah, 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 blah. And um, whatever whatever Nick said would be the answer. And I, I think Zig's kind of slowly coming to the um, kind of idea that like weird is the the greater version of Nix, but in in Zig's mind is the more um, approachable version. Okay. If that makes sense. Um, so that like, I no, feel like it sounds Zig... it, like just from what you said there, it almost sounds like you're saying, you know, mm. when the example of if you make a friend versus if you're introduced to someone else's friend. Right, Nix was like someone else's friend for Zig, whereas you mm. get to make the friendship with Weird from the start. Sounds yes. like you're comparing it to that type of vibe. That's that that that's kind of like in my head anyway. That's that's kind of what the I'm. The actual getting example from I had in my head was when you when you actually move into somebody else's flat to help Flatshire with them, and it's clearly vibes their flat instead of you and a friend moving at the same time to a flat. Yes, if that's it's, what my um, actual example I, I, was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> It, yeah, it's kind of like that. It's like you know, Zig was like was. I think Zig was part of Nix Five, whereas Nix Five wasn't. Um, like they didn't enter at the same point, whereas Weird is there, and they they kind of like, you know, met each other at the essentially the same time, and um. I think I think Zig has like that more like sort of comfortable um vibe with with weird than he does with with Nick. like he's more willing to kind of put out his ideas mm-hmm. as opposed to going oh that that's what X5 says so that's what mm-hmm. okay sure um yeah. I suppose he's trying is like in the past he was trying to like more be on the side of Nick's five as he is, you know, he's m- more wanting to be weirds like friend. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah, I think it does. Uh, yeah, I think that was some hell of a session. Anything else you want to add to the end of that, Zig? Um, I mean, I I I, I love CC. <laughs> It's, that seems. I'm, I'm glad you are all enjoying CC because it, like, was, it was a long you know, time in the making. Uh, CC is, uh, yeah, he's, he's been a, a joy. No, uh, not, for, think, not for I, a I think yeah. like, we, we knew we knew conspiracy Craig was coming, but I think like the only way that we could possibly make that happen was the way that it happened, mm-hmm. as uh, like as the whole Scaremander thing. One hundred percent. Like as soon as, like, as I said, there was, there was a Starbucks moment. And it's moment. one of those things yeah. that I wouldn't, I, I, like, I wouldn't have thought about. I, I don't know if everyone else kind of just like thought about it like previously, but I, I would never have like considered that as a possibility. Um, until it happened, I was like, well, that's the obvious choice. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Yeah. Even like so, if I hadn't already like settled pretty much instantly on Scaramander CC way back in the space box scene um, because purely people desperate to have a Scatterman'er pet it would have changed whatever I would have put him as if it wasn't for that to that, let's face it, right? It would have been something I would have wrote in somewhere, maybe not even CC, maybe just somewhere else if I had somebody else in mind for CC um, I would definitely have put a Scatterman'er in somewhere as an NPC because why mm. not? They're so adorable um, kind of want a plushy one not going to lie Um but yeah, I, I'm happy with that. It was an amazing session. We did run over it, but we did end up having a half an hour to talk about politics um, and also whatever the hell we spoke about at the start of the night. Um, I will catch up with you. <laughs> Disney movies. Yeah, Disney well, it's movies. Disney movies. And uh, oh, Anna's king. leave in the comments as well uh, your favourite Disney movie and uh, what class the main character would be in Starfinder, I guess. Um, thanks, everybody, for playing. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you for running. And, Thank uh, you. Goodbye. And good night. Good night. Good night. So-